It's a three flash error code. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's a three flash error code, and we're talking about this uh, unit failed because the, the pressure switch or the blower prover switch failed in the open position. Mm -hmm. That means it, it probably was running, um, but it, it opened up. Yeah, uh, it, it could be. It could happen for two reasons. Mm -hmm. One, maybe the pressure switch never closed at all. Exactly. Or uh, it opened up during operation. Again, we talked about this, this uh, pressure switch being a safety device. Exactly. It's there to ensure that the water heater is operating in a safe environment, that we are safely expelling our exhaust gases mm -hmm. out of the home. Anytime that doesn't happen, the water heater is designed to lock out and warn you, hey, the, the, this is an unsafe situation. Right. So it could either open up, meaning it could throw this code, meaning it ever closed at all, mm -hmm. or for whatever reason it opened up during operation. Now, there's a couple of steps that you want to do. First of all, we had to think about that sequence of operation exactly. we talked about earlier. What is creating the vacuum? Well, the blower starts to spool up. Mm -hmm. Right As it starts to spool up, it pulls this vacuum down and closes that pressure switch. So one of the first things that I'm going to do is check this pressure sensing tube. Right. Make sure that this pressure sensing tube is intact, both on the blower and where it comes down here and hooks into the pressure switch. Yeah, so I want to do okay. everything visual before I break out any tools. Um, yeah, exactly right. And this happens a lot, especially on install. Uh, you, know, you guys know how it is. You're, you're moving the water heater at end. Most of us grab the top and we kind of spin it across the, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> your hand gets caught on this and you can possibly rip this off exactly. the top of the water heater. And then all of a sudden the vacuum that gets created by the blower is not being transferred down to the pressure switch. Exactly. So you can just pop this back on and everything's good to go. Okay. The next thing you want to look at is your high limit switch. Mm -hmm. Remember we talked about these being wired in series. Uh, so if either one of these opens up, it's going to throw this three flash code. Same code. Whether it's locking out on high limit or if it's locking out on block exhaust, mm -hmm. either way it's going to throw this three code. So the next thing I want to do is check this high limit switch. Uh, especially if the water heater has been operating uh, and for whatever reason it just stopped, right? Right. Um, check your venting, see if it's warm. If, you, if that PVC feels very warm, uh, again, we don't need any tools. Walk up there, check the venting. If it's really, really hot, now I'm definitely going to check this high, this, this high limit. And all we really have to do is take our meter. Uh, we're going to set it to continuity. And it's a good idea to have the right tools whenever you do uh, um, work on any water heaters. What we're using is a UEI G2 Phoenix. Yep. Uh, the cool thing about this one is, is it, it does check millivolts. Uh, mm -hmm. which is what we really want if we're working on any standard gas water heaters uh, that, that uses millivolts. Yeah, pretty much anything that you want mm -hmm. to check on, on a water heater, you can do with this particular meter. Even on electric water heaters, it's got a clamp on that meter. Uh, so you can pretty much check anything you want to. So on this high limit, you're going to set the meter to continuity. You're going to take your two leads. Uh, usually in the continuity position, if you touch these together, you'll hear a beep. Mm -hmm. That lets you know that continuity is present. And all we have to do is go to this high limit switch follow those, those two wires down to the spade connectors that go inside uh, the inspection housing right here. Right. Pop those off, take our two leads here, stick those into the spade connectors, mm -hmm. and just ohm out that switch. Right. Okay, now that is a normally closed switch, meaning that normally there would be continuity across the switch. Mm -hmm. In a safety, as a safety device, if the temperature gets too high, that switch opens up and breaks that continuity. So all we have to do is take our two leads with our meter set to continuity, touch these on the two flag connectors. If we get a beep, mm -hmm. then we know it's closed. If it doesn't beep, then we know it opened, and that's why we're in this three. Now I'm going to start looking as, as to what could possibly cause it to overheat. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's the thing. That, that switch, you should never see it open um, because yeah. it's a normally closed switch. It's there as a safety. If it gets above 145 degrees, that's mm -hmm. when it's going to open up. Um, yeah, and with the draft temps that mm -hmm. we're talking about, you really do not see this open up mm -hmm. very often. It really takes a, a pretty large restriction in the venting or a blockage to cause enough heat to get this thing above 145 degrees and trip out. Right. Now we're talking about venting. That would be the next where yeah. next place <laughs> I'm going. Uh, this particular code, this error code three, pressure switch code, is designed to tell you if the venting is is not proper. Right. Uh, if we're not moving the combustion product the way that we're supposed to. So as a troubleshooter, mm -hmm. if I'm the one troubleshooting the, the water heater, the first thing I have to assume is it's, it's doing exactly what it's designed to do. Right. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is check my venting. Mm -hmm. Am I within spec? Do I have too many 90s? Is my overall vent run too long? Do I have 90s that are too close together? Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes 
guys, especially if we have low headroom, right. they'll put a 90 right here on top of the wa water heater, right here at the horn. Right. Uh, that can cause too much restriction. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're moving a, a ton of air that can hit this 90 and blow back down. Yeah. <clears throat> cause that pressure switch to open. Again, because this blower is rotatable, if you find yourself in that situation, rotate the blower, get rid of that 90, and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, now, overall, in the venting system, sometimes you'll have 90s that are back-to-back. -back. Right. You have two 90s that are kind of jammed together. Again, that just causes too much restriction. Mm -hmm. I generally like to keep at least a foot between 90s. Okay. Uh, anytime that I'm going to change direction with the pipe, I want at least a foot of straight pipe so I can get that air kind of redirected uh, before I make that next sweep. If it goes in there very erratic and then hits another fitting immediately, mm -hmm. it can cause way too much back pressure and cause that pressure switch to open. Now, another thing, termination. This is the termination fitting that comes with the unit. This goes on the outside of the home. First thing you want to do is always use the termination that exactly. comes with the water heater. Sometimes, especially if there's a homeowner association, there may be terminations that everyone is using. Mm -hmm. You say, well, I'm just going to use the termination that's already there. You may be okay with that, you may not. Uh, it just depends on the termination that they're using. Well, we recommend using the termination that comes with the water heater, and you want to use your rodent screen. Exactly. Uh, pop the rodent screen inside. This prevents um, anything from, we can get a look at that, anything from crawling up in there or anything like that, maybe blocking up mm -hmm. the termination. This would definitely cause uh, one of these error code 3s, either due to the pressure switch opening or due to high limit. If we get a blockage in here, bird's nest, uh, you know, a squirrel crawls up in here, right. who knows, anything <laughs> could happen. Um, so you definitely want to use that. Now, another important feature, these two little restrictors, and I'll show these here, come inside the kit uh, with your vent kit, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, you'll get a There's bag a that looks like this, uh, comes inside the mm -hmm. box of the water heater. Now inside that is another bag that holds these two vent restrictors. Now what these are for is if we have a really short vent run, we can put these in and create a little bit more back pressure. On a short run, we're just blowing that air out of there really, really quickly. So you want to use your vent restrictors uh, to create some back pressure. If you have a long vent run and you're using one of these, you're going to cause too much restriction. And it can so, cause that to give that, yeah, that code. Yeah, and it, it just pops inside here, uh, pops inside the termination right. and causes a little bit of back pressure. So if we're in a long vent run and we use one of these, right. that could be a, a, a dead giveaway as to why we're having some of these error code three. So only use these uh, as directed by the instruction manual. Yeah, always follow the instruction manual. I'll follow the manual because uh, it's going to tell you about all the 90s and how many 90s you can have yeah. um, and, and how long you can run the, the pipe. Um, but just always refer to that manual. Another thing that can happen is, is we've got this 3-inch one too. Mm -hmm. uh, you've also got a 3 to 2-inch fern code that goes on the horn. This is where we reduce from the 3-inch on the horn down to the 2-inch vent pipe. Exactly. Well, if you notice, this fits in very easily. We've had calls okay. about this. Uh, I've seen guys in the field that look at this and they go, well, it fits two black pieces. They're made to go together. It, it's it very there. easy to think, well, maybe these, this is supposed to go in there. And this fern coat gets put on top of the blower and we're making way too much restriction right here at the blower. Yeah. Uh, that could cause that error code three. Uh, so be careful about that. Again, these, this is in a separate package so only use these vent restrictors when necessary uh, and always refer to your instruction manual for... Always refer yeah. to the instruction manual.